What's up guys, this is Mike from Rob's Metalworks and I'm out here at the Warehouse Music Venue for the Demonic Gathering. I'm here with Corporate Death from Macabre. How you doing, man? Hey, what's going on? Awesome, great to have you out here, man. Appreciate you doing this. It's a nice little getaway for the weekend, man. It's very nice. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, man. So, y'all guys have been together for a long time. Y'all never had a lineup change the whole time that y'all been together. How do you feel that, uh, that benefits the band? I don't think there's any other... Uh, death metal, extreme music bands that have stuck with the same guys for as long as we have. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. sure, Slayer got rid of Dave, Dave Lombardo and got him back and stuff, but they changed members at points and different exactly. bands, you know. And, you know, I love Slayer, of course, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're the original guys. We never broke up yeah. for since 1981. That's and that's a long time. Together, yeah. We're getting old. We're getting old. <laughs> so there's the obvious focus on murder and death and serial killers and that kind of thing in your music. Is that what led to dubbing y'all style murder metal? Well, in, in junior high, I read this book, Blood Letters and Bad, Bad Men. And it had Albert Fish in there and Ed Gein. And I says, wow, we could do a song about Ed Gein. Yeah. And we could do a song about Albert Fish. And then it just started gelling after that. And we started singing about all these different killers. So why not do it all the time, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. So you guys definitely have a cult uh, icon status, too, in the metal scene. Um, can you shed some light on how the music of Macabre has evolved in regards to that? Well, a, a lot of the, the people that come to our shows ask me, are you going to do a song about this killer? Are you going to do one about this killer? I'm like... I have plenty, uh, plenty of a backlist of killers that I'm writing about right now. It's like they're always telling me about new killers and stuff. So I think that's a big fascination about the morbid side of these killers. Why do they do this? You know, you know, everyone else is kind of, kind of normal in the world, but these guys go out on the side and look for people to kill. You know, yeah, so it's kind of a fascination. An old lady might read a, a newspaper article about a cannibal or something, and. She wants to read on. She's not just like, oh, I gotta, I gotta put this. She wants to read on, you know. Yeah. It's a morbid fascination with everybody, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, like you said, I think there's no shortage probably of uh, inspiration for your music there, right? <laughs> well, our next album is going to be called Human Monsters. It's going to be called The History of Murder. Nice. It's going to go from the first killers recorded in history to early times. It might be a two-part album, I'm not sure yet. But I've been doing lyrics for over a year now, and now I'm writing music to the lyrics I wrote. And it's back and forth, you know, we have a lot of new stuff, so. Yeah. So, Human Monsters, we might do part one this year, hopefully. Okay, very cool. Well, that was my next question, is kind of what are your plans for new music? So, like you said, you're hoping for maybe at least that part one to come out sometime in 2009 then? Well, hopefully, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's the goal. We're going to re-release our first album from 1986, Grim Reality, this year. Remastered and remixed. Mixed by Neil Kernan, the guy who did Dahmer and Murder Metal. And uh, we're looking at different people right now to master it. Maybe James Murphy or something. He, he, he said he would do it, you know. So we're going to see. But we're going to have it out this year, our first album, Grim Reality. It's been out of print for a long time. Awesome, that's very cool. So, as far as uh, 2009 goes, what are your what are your touring plans uh, after this show and throughout the rest of the year? Is there any particular bands that you want to tour with, possibly? Well, there's a lot of bands I want to tour with, but it doesn't always work out that way. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but we have a Europe tour lined up. It's a short one. It's like a festival out in Europe in June, and maybe like eight other shows. Uh, we're going through Holland, Germany, Scotland, and uh, some different areas, you know. But uh, after that, Canada, maybe in the fall. You know, we haven't been to Canada in like over a year now. Yeah. And it, it, we do really good in Canada. Canada's great. And uh, I just want to get this new album out. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole thing, you know. It's like, exactly, yeah. I just want to get the album out. You know, I'm really worried about touring too much right now, yeah, but yeah. more writing right now. Yeah, and I'm not going to put some crap out. I'm going to try to do something good, you know. Exactly. If I'm not happy with it, I'm not going to put it out, you know. Exactly. So. 
Cool. So, I mean, obviously the new Macabre album is going to be your current focus, but can you tell me a little bit too about uh, Macabre Minstrels? Any plans to maybe do another uh, album for that side project? Yeah, I mean, we thought about it years ago. Uh, it's called Fish Tales. Yeah. <laughs> Macabre Minstrels. It's, it's all children's music about Albert Fish eating little kids. And, uh, you know, we thought about it. We have a lot of songs for it, so that's a possibility in the future. You know, it's not set in stone yet, but yeah. I, we have a lot of songs for it. And uh, Albert Fish is the most fascinating serial killer of all of them. Yeah. All the perversities and everything. And, uh, you know, imagine this little old guy walking around looking for kids to eat every day. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could eat this little kid over here. Mmm. <laughs> That one looks really yummy over there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, it could be a real... Oh, yeah. Or a movie. I thought about doing a movie about Albert Fish That'd be cool. That'd be called cool. The Gray Man. Nice. But I started writing script for it, but I don't know if it'll ever happen, you yeah. know. But The Macabre Minstrels, that's a, a big possibility. Yeah. Well, you definitely got some sort of outlet for it there regardless. But I think, like you said, I'm, I mean, I know I, for one, am interested definitely in side projects like that. I think that's very cool when you do that kind of stuff. So In uh, Czech Republic, uh, in July, we played uh, Extreme Obscene Fest. And they had the torture show on Thursday night where the guys hanged themselves from hooks yeah. and stuff. And we played, during the intermission, Macabre Minstrels. And... Uh, we did all the fish stuff there. We did a bunch of it, you know. Nice, nice. So we'll probably put that on video eventually, but yeah, I'd like to do a record of it, sure. Very cool, very cool. Well, so like you said, you've got a new album hopefully coming out maybe sometime this year. You, Of course, you're re-releasing y'all's first album, and uh, y'all have several albums. Where, where online can your fans find your music to uh, be able to purchase it and stuff like that? Uh, MurderMetal.com. MurderMetal.com, guys. Y'all heard that right there. So, any final words for your uh, your fans here in Texas? We appreciate you, and if you want us back, we'll be here. Awesome, very cool. I'm talking here with Corporate Death from Macabre. I want y'all guys to remember, y'all heard it right here, only on Rob's Metalworks. <laughs>